Hey my friend, welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the GenSim library in Python. We are going to first create a Python project folder, then create a virtual environment within it. And within that virtual environment, we are going to install the GenSim library. I am going to show you the entire installation process step by step. The steps are very simple. All you need to do is follow along. So the first step will be to open the terminal for which I'm going to press command space and type terminal, click on it and the terminal is open. Now I want to create a Python project folder on my desktop for which I'm going to get inside my desktop using the CD command. All right, I made a mistake. There you go. I'm inside my desktop. Now I'm going to create my Python project folder and I'm going to name it gensim underscore install. So it will be mkdir gensim underscore install. You can see a folder named gensim underscore install has been created over here on the desktop. I'm going to get inside this folder now. So it will be cd command again. I'm going to copy it, paste it over here, get inside the folder, gensim underscore install. Now the next step will be to create a virtual environment within this Python project to folder. So before you go on to create a virtual environment, you need to make sure that you have Python 3 installed in your machine. How to check it? You just need to type Python 3 hyphen hyphen version. And there you go. If this command gives you the version of the Python 3 installed in your machine, then you have Python 3 installed in your machine. You need not worry. If you don't have it installed already, then you can install it by watching this video in the I button. It's very simple. So let's create a virtual environment. Now the command is very simple. It will be Python 3 hyphen M vnv that stands for virtual environment and then i need to provide the name of my virtual environment so i'm going to name it gensim underscore vnv i hit enter and if this command doesn't throw any error that means virtual environment has been successfully created all right now let's check it using the ls hyphen ldr command you can see it appears over here now the next step will be to turn this virtual environment active the command is very simple it will be dot space gensim underscore vnv forward slash bin forward slash activate and there you go the virtual environment gensim underscore vnv has turned active now the moment has come when we are going to install the gensim library finally command is very simple it will be pip install gensim i hit enter and the installation has begun there are certain supporting libraries that uh, it's installing. And there you go. The installation has completed. Lots and lots of libraries it has installed. But uh, this particular label is very relaxing. It says successfully installed and I see Gensim over here. So this means that Gensim has been successfully installed. Let's run the pip list command and check if uh, gensim appears in the list of packages installed for this virtual environment and it does it does appear now let's check if this particular library is uh, ready for use to do that we'll have to get inside the python prompt so let me clear this up a bit so now i'm going to type python 3 to get inside the python prompt here i'll import gensim so i'll write import gensim if it gets imported successfully, that means it has been successfully installed. Now, the next line of code that I'm going to type will be gensim dot double underscore version double underscore. And if it prints the version of the gensim library installed, then we can guarantee that gensim library is ready for use. And it does. It prints the version of the Gensim library installed in this virtual environment. And with this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed learning how to install the Gensim library in Python from this video of Joey's Tech. I'll see you in the next video of Joey's Tech. Goodbye and take very good care of yourself.